Kayla, Will was talking about your physicality on defense, how you can impact the game with your physicality, with your length. What have you kind of been focusing on on that end recently? Uh, just trying to, you know, lock in, uh, kind of get into screens, get, get more into the ball instead of uh, playing off to start. So just being more aggressive on defense. Because, uh, you know, defense is like, it's not something that you, you know, it's like not a talent or anything. It's, you know, it's just hard work, I feel like. So just being able to lock in and mentally try to be good at that. Is cool. Now that you've done it a couple times in a row, have you, how, what are the emotions like of playing a former team? Um, it's fine. I, I, I don't know. I, it's, of course, I feel like everybody else kind of hypes it up a little bit more than my, I do. But uh, it's always going to feel good playing against the guys that you've uh, started off with. And um, just, you know, beating them always helps. So I'm appreciative of that, too. So that dunk didn't have a little extra juice in it because of the Lakers? Oh, uh, no, because if it was the, the it was another jersey, I think I would have did the same thing. So, <laughs> uh, But, of course, if it would, it, would it be in the Lakers, you know, it means a little bit more. <laughs> Tell us about that play, I guess. What did you see on that play? How did it get set up? And then, you know, what made you kind of decide to throw down that dunk rather than, I guess, some other way of finishing the play? Uh, so, you know, I saw Mike ahead first. Um, and then knowing the type of player Mike is, you know, him being unselfish, uh, I knew he was going to either take it and make a play or just drop it off to me. So I kind of saw that he was leading towards the way dropping it off to me. And kind of that's where we, we had that in our offense. So being able to, you know, get to that is always going to be good. But, um, you know, that's once I caught it going downhill, uh, I tried to, you know, initiate the foul and get the contact first. And then, you know, just, you know, just took off from there and then it, it, it went in. It happened so fast, I really didn't even, <laughs> I just heard everybody scream. So I was like, oh, okay, I went in. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. You kind of have the smirk on your face afterwards, is that? What was that about? Uh, I don't know. Like the last few times, well, the dunk I had against Houston too, I came up smiling. So I think it's just, you know, just happy. Feels good to dunk. Yeah, it feel good. <laughs> <laughs> feel good for everything yeah, in my no, wrist. Yeah, yeah, we have no idea. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, your body is just so unique, even among the NBA. Are there other guys you've seen that you've modeled your game after? Because you don't have a physical comp. Uh, yeah, so th I feel like I get that question a pretty good amount. But um, so with me having a unique body, my body isn't like anybody else's in the NBA, pretty much. So uh, with that being said, I always try to you know watch a lot of basketball and then try to take bits and pieces from everybody's game that I watch. I really wouldn't, I really wouldn't have a specific player that I you know model my game after. But I'm, with me being a basketball junkie and a fan, and me uh, you know like trying to, you know, recreate things. I always try to take a piece from anybody's game that I can, even, you know, our teammates and, and opponents like that. How have you been able to use that uniqueness kind of to your advantage out there? Uh, it's just, you know, it's a lot of things. Coach always talks about doing, doing things that others don't and just trying to create opportunities for yourself and, um, you know, just trying to make everybody else around you better. So just being able to get the opportunity and have the freedom is, is good. Where do you feel like you've improved as a decision maker on offense? Uh, so I feel like, you know, I st I'm still young, still, you know, learning the NBA. And, you know, me, I try to make the home run play a lot. So uh, just trying to, you know, cut down on that, uh, make the home play, home run play when it, when it actually is going to get through. Uh, but just trying to, you know, make better decisions and think about things and watch a lot of film. So I feel like I've been doing that. What was your body like in high school? Sorry, if you don't mind me asking, were you like a bulky kid or were you thin or what? Uh, you always the way my body is now, pretty much like since I was probably about a junior in high school, it's probably been pretty much the same. Probably a little bit more thin now, but um, yeah, it's always been, I always had long arms and I had a you know big body and, big, and broad shoulders. So my game's pretty much been the same since I was a kid. I shot a lot more when I was younger though. <laughs> <laughs> What's that adjustment been like being you know, early in your career, you were getting, you know, a fair bit of time to kind of go out there and, and run a unit, play with the ball in your hands a lot more. Mm -hmm. And it's had to be kind of an adjustment on this team where you've got Mike, who's capable of setting up the offense, JC, Colin. Like, how do you kind of get better uh, picking your spots, as you said? Uh, just actually, you know, feeding off them, learning and learning how they play, you know, because it's opportunities in a game where they won't have the ball and you got to see what they're doing actually. So I try to like, like I said, just take bits and pieces from every single person that I see playing and try to see like, oh, maybe that, maybe that could work because I'm a bigger body. Maybe I can cut, maybe I could uh, screen in, maybe I could roll. So just being able to, you know, get into that mode is good. Who are the vets on this team who are kind of in your ear the most and, and what are they saying? Um, the, um, I'll probably say uh, Rudy, Mike, um, JC, and 
pretty much everybody else is real, pretty much pretty young. So, <laughs> oh, no. um, but still, even I, I, actually pretty much everybody I listen, whoever's on, I have some inf information for me. I kind of listen to him. So, um, I feel like, you know, even the kill, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes he don't play, but he come, still gives his input and we all listen. So I feel like that's a good thing about our group too, that we all, you know, the egos aren't too big. So being able to, you know, be receptive to the, uh, to the things that they're telling us is good. So in the locker room, we were asking Mike about with the expectations have changed for you guys internally and you were, you were making faces at me mm -hmm. like, no, <laughs> we want to win. So it seems like you guys have been determined to, um, kind of prove the outside expectations wrong, is that fair to say? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, everybody came into the year saying we thought they thought we were going to lose and stuff like that. But, like, the f pretty much after the second or third day of camp, we kind of knew, like, we're not going to be bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, yeah, having that confidence coming in and coming into the season is, you know, it's amazing. So, we... Uh, I feel like you got to give yourself the flowers at some point, but you know we're not going to be you know, happy with this. We're going to continue to be one of the best teams in the NBA, so uh, we're going to keep fighting. Thank you. Thank you.